Hey you guys, it's your girl and I am back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this really cute glitter set with this kiss um, sculpt kit and I got this from Walgreens for like $9 and I got the idea from Long Hair Pretty Nails and Christina Couture Nails. Um, they do a lot of like nail DIYs and at home um, acrylic nail like ideas and designs and stuff so I decided to try this out to see you know what's the hype all about period so you know we get into it all right so these are what comes in the box or whatever the case may be the tips the brush which almost took my eye out thank god it didn't but um the acrylic liquid i wish it had clear tips but you know you can't wish for you know everything like you just got to be humble and use what you got so i'm just going to use what i have and see what we can create with it and it comes with the buffer it came with instructions and the cuticle pusher but i prepped my nails already because you know i stay ready all right so i pretty much sized my nails and got the tips that i wanted to put on my nails already prepped so i'm just gonna go ahead and glue it on and y'all i like this glue it is like on point like two seconds bow you are adhered but it kind of made me make some of my nails crooked so i had to fix that with the acrylic and a whole bunch of hoopla but we're not here to talk about that we're here to you know get to the point so um i just put the tips on and then i added um the second tip because this is my first time trying double tips and um i really like how double tips nails look and how they feel like it's really really popping so i'm really gonna consider like doing all my sets double tips like it's so addicting Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my straight edge clippers to go ahead and cut the nails down to the desired length that I want. And y'all, I really, really like these tips because they're really, really durable and sturdy. Like, even when I was cutting them off with the clippers, like, they weren't, like, flying everywhere. Like, they're really good um, tips. Like, I like these tips a lot. Um, so I'm just measuring my nails cuticle to cuticle. That way I can make sure, like, all of them are the same length. And they look good for my pictures and videos so I'm just doing that with the straight edge clipper All right, so um, with my thumb, I tend to do it shorter than my other nails, so I'm going to file that down when it gets to sh the time to shape it. And with this, I'm just going in with the straight edge clipper and just getting the excess um, nail tip off wherever it's wider. I'm just going to cut that off, but I'm not going to do too much because when I go in with my hand file and I use a 100 grit hand file because it's really coarse so I can get it to be um, sharp like I need it to be. And if there's any issues, like if my nail is curving or whatever, I'm going to definitely go ahead and fix that with my acrylic and then reshape afterwards. 
so I'm just like you know trying to shape it and record it. but I'm gonna move away from the camera so I can really see what I'm doing because y'all it's hard like trying to record and then get the right shape so I had to you know do what I had to do Okay, so now I'm just brushing off the dust and I'm going to go ahead and put some um, primer on my nails per usual and then we're going to get on to the fun stuff, the lip stuff, the glitter stuff, period. So um, I'm just um, pouring out that monomer or acrylic liquid, whatever they want to call it. Um, and I got this custom glitter that I created in the previous video, so y'all should go check out that video if you want to see you know, the glitters that I created. And I wish these nail tips were clear oh my god but they're not so we're just gonna have to deal with it but i tried to use a little cheapy cheapy brush and y'all it had like it was so hard in the middle like i couldn't even use it so i just gave up on it and used my you know handy dandy cnd lmp brush so i went in with um and i tried to let it soak in there y'all and everything and it just didn't work out so i went in with the brush that i regularly use and it's a pretty small brush so it was like you know i take long anyways because i use this little brush so um i'm gonna go ahead and apply the glitter to this nail well to this hand or whatever the case may be and it's a really really chunky glitter i wanted it to be like that that way i didn't have to keep on piling up you know acrylic on my nail and have my nails really big so it's a really chunky mix and also I went in with small beads because I did not want to use an e-file. I wanted to try it like someone who's at home would try it. So I did not use an e-file so I applied really small beads and made sure I spread the glitter out as much as possible because I did not want a bulky nail. Hand filing a bulky nail is like the worst. So I had to go in and open this because at the bottom of this nail, it was kind of curving and it wasn't um, square, like it was curving at the edge. So I went in with my acrylic so that I can fix um, the curve that I created when I was shaping the nail with the file. And sometimes that can happen, but you just have to learn how to fix your mistakes. So as you guys can see, um, you guys really can't notice it, but I'm just going into that corner and um, to those corners and I'm adding some more acrylic there and flattening it out and stuff so that the shape can go back to just flat and not rounded. After that, when I encapsulate and everything, I'm gonna reshape it so that it can be like the square shape that I wanted originally.
Okay, so now that we're done with the glitter, we're gonna go ahead and encapsulate. Um, and I really like this good acrylic, like it's really movable. Um, it's not like a stiff formula, like it's really, really good. I like this um, acrylic, like I was able to manipulate it and move it and bring it down and it was like, you know, it was moving right with me, right with the brush, it didn't give me any issues. So, um, shoot, I don't have anything negative to say so far. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, shape the nose all over again because your girl wants it to be really square and really, you know, nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back over. And y'all, I am not good at filing on camera. Like, it was getting on my nerves. Like, dang. But um, I just went ahead and hand filed everything, y'all. And it took forever in a day. So I couldn't imagine if my nose were bulky, how long it would have took because I would have been too mad and probably had like you know big old muscles and stuff because this is like a workout it's a lot i'd rather use an e-file any day but everyone knows a real tech knows how to shape the nail with an e-file because if you're i'm sorry with the hand file because if your e-file breaks at any time you got to be able to still slay your clients so you know y'all better do that okay okay Alright, so now I'm just buffing um, the nails and the buffer was pretty good. There was no problems with the buffer. Like I could buff the nails, but I couldn't shape my nose with this because it's really small. But the buffer part was fine. Honestly, the whole entire kit is pretty solid. The only thing that I didn't like about the kit was the acrylic brush. Like um, Kiss needs to do better with the acrylic brush. So it's just best to just have your own brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, put on the top coat. And... Um, Y'all, it came out so freaking cute. Like, I love this glitter mix. Like, it's perfect for, like, the spring, summer time, like, vibe. Like, I'm so over winter and Valentine's and all of that stuff. Like, it's, winter is just lasting too long. This is going to be such a cute color for spring and summer. I can't wait to do other sets with it. And if you guys want to see how I made this glitter mix, be sure to, um... Go to my page and go watch my acrylic powder mix video. I'm going to try to link it or put like a little link so that you guys can go watch it or add it to the end screen. But um, I'm just applying the acrylic. I'm sorry. I'm just applying the top coat and I'm going to cure my nails. And you guys are going to see how it looks. 
afterwards. All right, so these are how the nails turned out. And I really, really, really like them, y'all. Like this summer, they're gonna go up, okay, period. But I'm just showing you guys um, the nails in different lighting so you guys can see how they look at night, during the day. All right, so after a week, I got kind of bored with them and I wanted to just see how the glitter would look with bling on it. So I decided to add some diamonds. And I gave myself very much, you know, crab legs vibes. Like, these are giving me mukbang, seafood, royal baps. I don't know. But <laughs> I just went with the punches and just went diamond crazy. I do not know when to stop with the diamonds. So they ended up on every single nail. And um, these are how they turned out. It's still not bad, but it's a lot. Like, it's real extra. So if you're an extra person, then you'll like these because I'm extra so I didn't mind having them and I got a lot of compliments on them whether they were plain or with the um bling with the crystals or whatever so do you sis do you if you want to do a simple beauty mix you can do that buy some from Joann's or Walmart and y'all these are how the nails look in the daytime out and about and they were really cute so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative than paying someone because honestly I would charge somebody like a hundred dollars for these because ain't nobody got the time but if you're doing these yourself you're going to save yourself some money and they're really cute so be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below which style you like better bye